Hello, I'm Tom Simon, and you're watching The Big Topic, The Voice, The Battle Rounds, Week 2 of The Battle Rounds. Uh, this is the second set of Battle Rounds, and basically we get to see six battles tonight, and six people that will be moving to the live shows of The Voice. Um, so basically what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to go over the six battles, the songs they sang, who the battles were between, and then we'll go over what the judges thought a little bit, and then my pick on who should have won, and then I'll tell you who actually won that battle and is going to the live show. And then we'll go over the superstar, super, superstar um, advisor mentors that got these contestants ready for these battles. I mean, they're incredible. You got Alanis Morissette, you got R Lionel Richie, you got Kelly Clarkson, Miranda Lambert, uh, you know, you got Thick, you got, you know, Incredible Jewel working with them as well. So here we go. Let's get to it. The first battle was Team Christina. It was Jeff McBride versus Sarah Hill. Uh, their battle song was Chain of Fools, Aretha Franklin. And uh, here's how it went. Um, Lionel Richie mentored Jeff, advised Jeff, got him ready for the show. Uh, Jewel mentored Sarah Hill and got her ready for the battle. First of all, I want to say these two sang incredibly together, and I know this had to be a very hard decision because Jeff, such a powerful voice, incredible singer. Sarah, incredible singer, performer, beautiful woman. Uh, she looked great tonight. Now, the blind auditions are over, so it's not just on the voice anymore. Now it's on the total package, and that may be what made this decision go the way it did. So first, CeeLo thought Jeff should have won. Blake thought Sarah should win. Adam thought Jeff should win. I chose Jeff based on the powerful, incredible voice this guy had. There was so much soul and passion and, and emotion. I enjoyed him so much. Doesn't mean I didn't like Sarah's performance. She was incredible as well. But if I had to pick one, I would have picked Jeff. Christina chose Sarah. Jeff's going home. As incredible of a singer as he is, uh, Christina just may have seen the total package in Sarah. So, wow, what a battle. Jeff, you know, your incredible, powerful, soulful voice. Good luck to you. And Sarah, you'll be in the live show. Good luck to you. Next, Team Blake, Battle 2, Charlotte Sometimes versus Lex Land. They did uh, Pumped Up Kicks. That was their battle song. Um, the uh, Lex Land got to be advised by Miranda Lambert, and then uh, Charlotte sometimes got to work with Kelly Clarkson to get her ready for the battle. Um, <laughs> CeeLo chose Charlotte. Uh, Christina chose didn't you know she kind of men mentioned both of them didn't really pick one. Adam chose Lex, and uh, this surprised me. I chose Lex. I thought Lex was really good. There were parts of Lex's voice where, I mean, I just thought she was so incredible. And, uh, you know, Charlotte, don't get me wrong, Charlotte's good too. Very consistent, very confident, and she did know this song and do this song very well. Together, I enjoyed their performance together as a duet very much on this song. Um, here's the winner. Uh, Blake chose Charlotte, so Charlotte's the winner. I chose Lex. I didn't guess that one right. So next, we got... Uh, I'm. We got Team CeeLo and uh, Sarah Golden versus Juliet Sims, the rocker. And uh, this was a great battle also. I really uh, like Juliet Sims. I like that rocky voice vibe. Um, I really think she has a good voice. This was battle three. Uh, Sarah was mentored and advised by Babyface to get her ready for this battle. And uh, Juliet Sims got to work with Neo to get her ready for the battle. Basically, their battle song was Stay With Me. Christina chose Juliet. Adam said Juliet should win, or he would choose Juliet. CeeLo said he, she, he would choose Juliet. And I was super surprised um, Blake chose Sarah. I wasn't surprised. I chose Juliet. Um, you know, I chose Juliet, and she won. So this is one I finally guessed correct. Now, don't get me wrong. Sarah Golden had a really soft really pretty voice and I enjoyed it quite a bit so but she's not moving on maybe maybe you know another talent show another time 
So basically, Juliet is moving through with her rock voice, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Next battle. Uh, Carson Daly kind of called this one youth versus experience. Uh, CeeLo and Adam and, and Blake were calling this kind of like the diva battle. Now, basically, this is Kim Yarbrough versus Whitney Meyer. And Kim Yarbrough, you know, she, last week she just killed it. Amazing voice. Whitney, Whitney did a really good job as well. Um, this week they did Mary J. Blige, Broken Heart Again was their battle song. Um, they really battled hard. I thought that Whitney at first kind of started off a little slow. But by the end of the song she was really, really singing well. And really pulled up her game well. Um, Whitney got to work with Alanis Morissette. And Kim got to work with Robin Thicke. Um, CeeLo chose Kim, thought she should have won it. Christina chose Kim. Uh, Blake chose Carson. He said he couldn't decide. And Adam chose Kim. So basically, the winner was Kim. I chose Kim as well. I just thought that her voice was just way too good not to win this. And uh, it had to have been, a, I, mean, I thought it was kind of an unfair battle to put Whitney up against Kim. I thought, she, you know, it would have been better to see a stronger singer up against Kim. But that's the way it worked out. Kim's going to the live show. Next, Teen Christina, Lee Cook, battles uh, Lindsay Paveo. And this is battle five. Uh, they did, uh, let's see, their battle song was Nirvana. Heart shaped box. First time we've seen this on one of these shows. And oh, I was really excited to see this pan out. Um, th but, uh, you know, the outcome of this I wasn't very happy about. I'll tell you what happened. Lindsay Pafeo worked with Jewel. And then Lee Cook worked with Lionel Richie. Um, you know, and Lionel just kind of advised him to be more, in more engaged with the lyrics. Now, Adam chose Lee. CeeLo chose Lee, said he, he chose Jesus, though, because Lee reminded him of Jesus a couple times up there in the lighting. Blake chose Lindsay. I chose Lee. Lee was incredible. I love this guy's voice, man. I just really like it. I don't know what happened with Christina when she chose Lindsay, because I just thought Lee destroyed her in this battle. But that's the way it goes. I'm not a judge. It's not my team. I'm just giving my opinion. I thought Lee was incredible, and I hope he goes on to sing because I really enjoyed his voice. I love his sound. Um, not taking anything away from from uh, from Lindsay. I mean, she's incredible. She's a great singer. Of course, she made it this far in the voice. She's doing really well. She's on Lind or on Christina's team. She'll be in the live shows. Next, this was the final battle of the night. We had uh, Jamar Rogers versus Jamie Lono. Battle of the Friends. You know, these guys are friends, and they really showed it at the end. Both of them were in tears over the decision. Here we go. Let's just get on with it. The battle song was uh, Foreigner. Um, I Want to Know What Love Is. We all know that song. Great song. Um, Jamie worked with Babyface as the advisor. Uh, Jamar worked with Neo. Neo said, if you really show your emotion, nobody can stop you on this. And I agree. I really thought Jamar just seriously out saying by far in this battle round. He just killed it. Um, you know, Jamie was good, you know, the sandwich maker, but his voice was cracking. I don't think his voice was quite ready for this level of competition. He has a unique voice. We like his voice. It's just the voice talent is not quite up to par with Jamar. And here's how it went, in my opinion, by the way. That's my opinion. And what that means, who knows. So basically, Christina uh, chose Jamar. Blake, Blake surprise, he, he chose Jamie. Um, Adam chose Jamar. And CeeLo chose Jamar. So... I chose Jamar, and Jamar won that battle. He's going on to the live show. So that's it. That's it. Basically, this is how it kind of worked out. Uh, the second battle round, second week of battle rounds. First of all, we had 
Going to the live show, Sarah Hill. Next, from Blake's team, we had uh, Lex. I'm sorry, uh, Charlotte Sometimes going on. Next, from C Team CeeLo Battle 3, we had Juliet Sims going through to the live show. The next battle, 4, Team Adam. Uh, Kim Yarbrough won that battle pretty decisively, in my opinion. Next, we had Team Christina, Lee Cock, Battle 5, and uh, Lindsay Pavel. Lindsay Pavel won that battle. Next, we had the final battle of the night between Jamar Rogers and Jamie Lano, and Lano, and Jamar won that one. So CeeLo chose Jamar, and that is uh, Team CeeLo, so he will be in the live show for Team CeeLo. And that's it. Another good show of The Voice, uh, The Battle Rounds, Week 2, The Big Topic. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching.